Harry and Meghan's new documentary, currently the number one show on Netflix and adding what could be fuel to the royal rift. ABC's Lama Hassan is at Buckingham Palace with more. Good morning again to you, Lama. Yeah, good morning to you, Janae. Well, the do documentary is now Netflix's biggest show of the year here in the UK, and it has had its fair share of critics hitting back. The Sussex camp responding on Friday, releasing a statement saying Harry and Meghan are choosing to share their story on their own terms, but that the tabloid media has, quote, created an entirely untrue narrative and permeates press coverage and public opinion. This is the sound of hearts breaking all around the world. Harry and Meghan, the Netflix docu-series released on Thursday, already a viewing hit for the streamer with millions tuning in. The past six years of my life, books are written about our story from people who I don't know. Doesn't it make more sense to hear our story from us? But still causing controversy. The level of hate that has been stirred up in the last three years, especially against my wife and, and my son, I'm genuinely concerned um, for the safety of my family. Meghan's mother calling out the racism she says Meghan experienced at the hands of the media. And I said to her, this is about race. This is what's coming down the pike. No matter what I did, they were still going to find a way to destroy me. Some in the UK press hitting back. A BBC journalist calling this claim by Meghan absurd. Critics asking why they let the Netflix cameras in after the pair had been so protective of their privacy. The couple sharing intimate moments from their home life. And Harry candidly comparing Meghan to his mother, Princess Diana. She has the same compassion, she has the same empathy, she has the same confidence. She has this warmth about her. Now, there's no official comment yet from either Buckingham Palace or Kensington Palace on the documentary. Many people saying that the episodes so far are just expanding on the narrative that has already been there and that they are actually relatively light on criticism of the royal family, but they're also bracing themselves for the new episodes that drop on December 15th. Janae. All right, Lama, thank you. And joining us now is ABC News royal contributor, Victoria Murphy. Victoria, thank you so much for being with us this morning. What has the reaction been to the documentary there in the UK? Hi there, good morning. Well, a very mixed reaction in the UK, I think. Harry and Meghan have long polarised opinion and that very much continues to be the case. I think there's been some positive reaction to their love story and to some of those behind the scenes moments. I think that there has been a lot of criticism, however, and scrutiny of this documentary, as we would expect much of it in the British press. One thing that has attracted a lot of attention over the past 24 hours is this accusation that they are attacking the Queen's legacy because of criticism in the documentary by commentators about the Commonwealth. And that's been a very big debate still on the front pages today. And, and so what about Meghan's meeting with the royals, her first interaction with Kate Middleton and that curtsy with the Queen? Well, exactly. There's no big bombshells in this documentary, but there are moments that have attracted attention. Meghan describing that elaborate first curtsy that she did to the Queen. That's actually been criticised here. People have said it's disrespectful and that she was mocking. I have to say, I do think Harry looked a little bit uncomfortable in that footage there. She's also, Meghan, described um, meeting Kate and William for the first time, hinting that they didn't really hit it off from the beginning. She's talked about the formality being behind closed doors. But, you know, no real kind of killer blows from the couple to royal reputations yet, but that could be to come. Uh, yet there's still so much criticism. And Victoria, what do you think is to come in the next episodes due out in a few days? Well, I think everything could be to come because, you know, we are getting now to the part in the story where we're talking about the fallout and where they decided to leave and walk away. And I think we're going to hear more of their thoughts and feelings. But what we might hear now that we haven't had so far is kind of specific new allegations. And if that comes out in the next three episodes, then I think there could be significant problems for the royal family that we haven't seen so far from these first three episodes. Well, across the world, so many will be watching. Victoria, thank you so much for being with us this this morning. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.